Hi, welcome back. I'm looking at Word 2013 on Windows 8. I'm looking at the option when you accidentally add a word to your vocabulary that you don't want. For example, the English spelling of center is spelt this way. The American version is spelt that way. Now as you can see, I want it to give me an error if I spell it that way, but it's not giving me the error, which is the American version, which is incorrect for me. And that can be quite annoying when you're doing essay or work. This is what I want you to do. I want you to select file, then select options, and then select proofing. Now if you go down to your custom dictionary here, select it, and there's my custom dictionary default. Now I'm going to left click edit word list and see if I've got that word in there. So the word I've got in there is center. So I want that to show up as an error just in case. So all I have to do now is delete it and it's done. Click OK. Again also check your roaming custom dictionary. Left click edit and just make sure it's not there as well. Then click OK. That should now underline the error. Just make sure you have this ticked. Check spelling as you type. So then it will underline it red. While I'm here quickly, let's have a quick look at autocorrect options. Open that up, and here's all your autocorrect options we've got here. They'll autocorrect for you. So if there's one you want to add, you can do, or if there's one you want to delete, you can do as well. Let's have a little look. Let's add one. For example, I might type hello without the L, and I can put the correct spelling in. Hello and click add. And they can see that down here, every time I spell hello that way, it will then correct it that way. You can also right click in your document and add that to an auto correction as well. But I thought I'd show you that as we're in the options. Click OK. And click OK. So you can see centers now come up with an error. Let's double check that. And there you go, it's done. Also let's try auto correct. I try, so let's type in hello and you can see it's automatically added the L to it. So if you have any problems with your vocabulary or dictionaries, have a quick look in your options and then you can edit it that way. Thanks for watching.